Hi folks, Kevin here. Well, today I thought I'd go over how I deal with the snow load that we, we, we have here in Oswego County in central New York, near Lake Ontario, not too far from Lake Erie. So we get lots of cloud cover, as you can see today. Uh, it's just below freezing, it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit today, but our snow has melted due to this being a, an exceptionally warm year. Last year and this year we've had significant warm winters where we haven't had the tremendous accumulation of snow. So I thought I'd show you how I deal with the snow in this part of the country with the solar panels. So I've got quite a large solar panel array. There's two of these here. And uh, the first thing you need to, to be is in pretty good shape if you're going to move the snow off of these buggers. Uh, the second thing is uh, having some good foot gear, some good snowshoes for when the snow starts getting deep. And I'll go over the poles in just a moment, but I want to show you the height. So right here, the base the base of the solar panels here is at 44 inches. Uh, I took my mini excavator and actually dug it down about a foot. It was just under uh, three feet before. If I were to do this again, living where I live here, where sometimes we get over 16 foot of snow over a winter, winter time, uh, then I would raise these up to have the base being at six foot. And so I'll show some video in a few minutes, well, in just a couple of minutes, of uh, me with a GoPro strapped to my head and seeing how I'm moving some of the snow off. Now that was a relatively, we've, the last two years we've had very mild winters. So there's some video footage of me moving less than two foot accumulation off, off of the solar panels. When we get greater than two foot of snow, on it on the panels I use one of these what they call roof rakes these are extendable and I think this goes out to about 13 feet uh, but it's a it's a it's a light duty aluminum and it's a plastic uh, apparatus but I don't use that in t unless the foot I get more than two foot uh, uh, accumulation over the 24 hour period when I'm out here cleaning off the the uh, solar panels the tool that I use all the time when I have two foot or less is this this apparatus it's a foam covered um, snow broom basically and I have a 20 foot extension it extends out twice with it so that works extremely well so the key points are if you're going to have a large solar panel array and it's going to be a rack mount system something that you're going to want to keep cleaned off in the winter months uh, certainly be in good physical shape because it's, it's exhausting and if it's deep deep snow you're working in purchase some really good snowshoes and have some good long extension handles that you can put up and if you and if you can afford it when you have them installed have the base at about at least five foot maybe six foot because all that snow that comes off of that uh, that hard that large solar panel array is going to accumulate and be a mound my mounds have been so high, I've had them be 12 foot high here where it's actually blocking the sun and I had to work extra to try and get them back away. So it's a challenge. So there was going to be some video footage of me with a GoPro camera uh, following this. I hope, I hope that this information is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Share it with your friends. I appreciate it. Take care folks and have a great day. Bye bye now.